What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Never To Go Relevant, back with another P.O. and Pick Arts video. Today, we got two dates for y'all. Today, I'm going to be picking one of these girls, probably Ella, since she's just the first one right there. And the second date, well, not really a date, but event, we have another Dan event that we just unlocked. So, we'll be doing that. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's start off with that, because why not? But real quick, guys, before we get started, make sure if you're not already subscribed to the channel, you hit that red subscribe button. We're really trying to grow. I'd really appreciate it. And you like the video, share with a friend, share with your mama. But with all that out the way, man, let's get right into it. You blew it. Dan has some important tasks for you and a fun one, too. Dan has called you in for a meeting, but not at his office. He's asked you to go to an out-of-town shooting range. When you arrive, Dan is looking pleased with himself. Kev, I'm so glad you're here. Find the place okay? Yeah, it wasn't too hard. Awesome, because I wouldn't want you to miss this. We're going crazy today. No, this sounds exciting. It will be. Haha, <laughs> it will be. Marcus, we're ready, bro. A large man in a military uniform comes out to meet you. Okay, so I've gone over the rules with Dan here already. Here's a recap for you. The rules? What rules? Rule 1. Do not aim at anything other than the target. Rule 2. Do not point your weapon anywhere outside of the green zone. Rule 3. Do not lift the launcher with the safety off. Excuse me? The launcher? Yes, the launcher. Now, have you finished interrupting me or what? You stop asking questions out of pure fear of this man. That's better. Rule 4. You break it, you bought it. That includes people. And Rule 5. You get three shots. No do-overs. Got it? Yes. Now, can you please tell me what we're doing? Follow me and you'll find out. You, Marcus, and Dan make your way to the back of the range and through some trees. Here, there are no boots. There are no shooters. It is a large open plain with cows in the distance. Today, we're shooting rocket launchers at cows. No, we're not. Seriously? Yep, seriously. You watch as Dan is handed what looks like a rocket launcher. Blow their mother up. Yeehaw. Hells yes. Let's do this. Marcus instructs Dan on how to hold the launcher, then holds him in place. And live fire in three, two, one. Dan fires a rocket tarts one of the cows. It explodes. Woohoo, that was so freaking awesome. Wait. You squint and look towards the cow's remains. It appears it was wooden. Oh, thank God they're fake. Well, of course they're fakes. Marcus here is vegan. Damn straight, no animals get harmed on my watch. Now I gotta go and reload. We don't keep live ammo here for a good reason. Marcus leaves with the launcher. Your turn next. You feeling confident? No, I'm crapping myself. Ah, oh, don't worry. You'll be fine. By the way, this is officially a business meeting. I've got a couple of things to ask you. Shoot. Okay, so the, the first is personal. I need your expertise. To cut a long story short, my dad needs to socialize. Since my mom died, I don't think he's been doing much. I want him to feel confident, and I want you to help. I can do that. Good man. I can't talk to him about women or dating or friendships. It's too too weird, but I trust you implicitly. Thank you, that means a lot. No problem, you're my buddy. I wouldn't have anyone else do it. Oh, and the second thing I need you to do is Marcus returns with the reloaded launchers. Weapons hot. We're ready, Kev? You're up. Ah, oh, okay, I'll give it a shot. Good man, this cost me 10 grand, but it'll be worth it. There ain't nothing to be nervous about, pal. It's like shooting a big old firework. That doesn't fill me with confidence, but fine. Okay, then step up to the targeting area. You walk over and stand where Marcus instructs you. Now brace yourself. This mother is heavy. Marcus places the rocket launcher on your shoulder. You got it? No, not really. Don't worry. I'll be here to brace you, so don't get knocked on your ass. Now we're aiming for the third cow from the right. Got it? Got it. Good. Aim the launcher then. Aim it towards the correct cow. You look through the sights and lock onto the third cow from the right. All right. It's just a simple trigger beneath the barrel. I'll hold you in place. Live fire in three, two, one. Pull the trigger gently. You pull the trigger gently, but you flinch at the last second. Your rocket sails past the car and into the ground behind it. Ooh, unlucky. Don't worry about it, pal. Nobody gets it on their first shot. Was that not Dan's first shot? Haha, <laughs> no, it's not. He's been here three times this week already. It's a rush, right? It sure is. Hell yeah, I knew you'd love it. Okay, got to reload for your next turn. Damn, be back in three. Marcus leaves with the launcher again. 
Thanks for paying for this, Dan. My pleasure. You've earned it. Maybe you'll join me on my next adventure, too. I might get in a shark cage or go to space. I've told Natasha to organize. Oh, yeah, about Nat. Is that the second thing? Yeah, she told me she's quitting. Quitting as your assistant? Yeah, I don't know why, though. She said it was a bunch of things. I was on a motorbike when I answered her call, though. Don't you think you should speak to her? No, I'm awful at these things. If I'm dating a girl, I'm in my element. But put me in a corporate business situation and I'm screwed. Can you talk to her, please? I know you're close. Yeah, of course. Awesome. Thank you, dude. I owe you one. Dan goes to hold your hand in a reassuring way. You and her mean a lot to me, so please convince her to stay. Marcus returns with the launcher. Hey, so who wants to step things up and blow up a Corvette? Oh, my God, that does sound fun. But will you be able to enjoy this, or will you be thinking of Natasha? You don't want to lose her. I wonder why she wants to quit. Can you persuade her to stay? Who knows? But, uh, yeah, that's that. So on to the Ella date. I don't know. My bro Dan seemed like he really going through it, bro. But, I mean, he did lose his mom, so you can't really, you know, can't really blame, bro. A moving tale. Your long-distance girlfriend, Ella, requires your help as she moves out of her student apartment into a new one. You and Ella are sat in a moving truck as you make your way to Ella's new home. The driver is a grizzly old man who keeps asking awkward questions. He is driving while you two are sat up front with him. So how long have you two been together, huh? We're not strictly together. It's a long distance thing. Ella pinches your leg. She seems annoyed. Oh, yeah? Then why are you helping her move, huh? Hoping to get some action? I'm just here to provide a helping hand. Yeah, I'll bet. I moved my crap out of my girl's place last week. She left me for my brother. I'll call them the bitch and the asshole. Hey, <laughs> get it? Mm-hmm. The van pulls up onto Ellis New Street. It looks quite rough, rough and scary. Is this your new place? It looks nice. Haha, <laughs> you're a terrible liar, but it's the best I could do. Just here is fine, driver. Thanks. No problem, Missy. You exit the vehicle and begin unloading Ella's things. Ella takes a box into her house. The driver goes into the back of the van and get another box. You see him opening up Ella's underwear box. Ooh la la, this one's a fine firecracker. He holds up a pair of Ella's underwear. You can put that back or I can break your face open. Your choice. Well, no trouble here, pal. I was just checking for it. Never mind. The driver continues to unload the van without incident. Tell Ella what happened. You tell Ella you, she caught the driver messing with her underwear. Ella has a screaming argument with the man. He sits in the cab of the truck while you unload. This is now going to take twice as long as it should have. And Ella is distraught. I'm sorry about that. I just couldn't have him handling my stuff. Of course, nothing to apologize. We'll, we'll get this sorted. Thank you. I'm really grateful. Ella takes a box into the house. You try to shift a large piece of furniture on your own. It seems too heavy to move on your own. What do you do? Wait until Ella returns. You wait for Ella to come back. Hey, this furniture is a little too heavy. Want to give me a hand? Oh, don't worry. I'll get Rick to help. A handsome, strong-looking young man waves at you from Ella's bedroom window. Hey there, mate. I'm Rick. I'll be down in a minute to help. Wait for Rick. Rick comes down and helps you move the furniture into Ella's upstairs room. Two strong guys helping me out. Aren't I lucky? Ella slaps your butt as she passes you. You and Rick sit, set the furniture down. Good job, bro. So, yeah, good to meet you. Shakes your hand. You too. Ella didn't mention she was seeing anyone when she viewed the house. But hey, it'll be good to have another guy around the place. It's all women apart from me. That sounds like it could be good or bad. Ha <laughs> ha, you're so right. It has its moments, though. There are some cute girls here. I never date any of them, though. Done that before. Too complicated. Never sh where you eat, huh? Am I right? You're so right. The women would make it awkward. Ella overhears you. Oh, we would, would we? Eek. Ella walks downstairs. Go after her. You go after Ella to speak to her and collect the final few boxes. So what did you mean by that comment? I didn't mean it. I was just trying to make friends with Rick. Okay, I believe you. I'm glad you two are getting on. I think these are the last two boxes. Thank you for helping. My pleasure. Ella kisses you and smiles with gratitude. We're going to have a little moving in party tonight. Are you able to stay? Yeah, work at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. I can't. I'm sorry. I have work. Oh, okay, that's the same. I guess you'll probably have to go soon then. You look at your watch. You will have to go soon. Ah, screw it. Which one day off? Yeah, I'm so glad. 
Me too. I wouldn't want you to spend your first night in a new place by yourself. Oh, you're so sweet. And yeah, it's almost like we're a proper couple. Ha ha. We'll be picking out toilet brushes and towels next. Is it wrong that stuff like that actually excites me? Ha ha. Come on. Let's get ready for the party. Thank you for the thumbnail. Excellent ending, Kev. Your relationship starting to solidify like, I don't know, ice or something. A few little white lies were needed today to help Ella feel comfortable. Hiding the truth about your opinions of the area and what the driver did was wise. You also avoided trying to be too macho with the driver or Rick. Ella is very happy with you right now. The only thing is, the next time Ella wears her sexy underwear, you'll imagine that creepy driver. Ugh, what a freak that guy was. Yeah, my guy was going through it. He said his shorty left him for his brother. I would have to catch a body. <laughs> Nah, I'm playing, man. But hey, man, that's the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new so you never miss any of the videos that I'm bringing y'all. Um, I don't think I'll be able to upload tomorrow. I work really early. Unless y'all get a really early upload, it'll be like 4 or 5 a.m., something crazy like that. Um, if y'all cool with that, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to make it happen. Um, do I have anything else to say? Oh, nah. Just make sure you guys subscribe. Share with your friends. Share with your mom and make them subscribe too. I really appreciate it. Your boy is trying to go, grow. But with all that being said, man, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.